Hey, we're starting another vlog. <laughs> Good morning. So it is Tuesday, I'm up in London. Um, I'm just standing outside Dr. Nina's clinic. I just had a coffee with her. This morning has been such a mess. Literally, I missed two trains, got on two very delayed trains, somehow still managed to get here on time. Um, and so yeah, we went and had a little coffee and catch up and now I'm heading in for a facial. So when I'm in there, I will obviously talk, let her tell you what I'm getting done because I don't know the ins and outs, but it's come at the right time because as you guys may have seen in last week's vlog, my skin is such a shambles. So yeah, I'm gonna pop in, get a little facial, and then what are we doing this afternoon? I think that's it really. Is there anything else on? Hmm, no, I think I'm heading home after this. And then a few more things going on this week. But yeah, I wanna get into this vlogging monarchy, so I'm going to stick to it. So I'm here with Dr. Nina, <laughs> my fave. So we're doing Aqua Gold, right? Yeah. Which is the Botox facial? That's right. Okay, so do you want to explain what it is? Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> so what Aqua Gold is, is a 24 um, gold camera plated uh, device, micro needling device, where uh, I can basically inject the, the skin with the most amazing cocktail of whatever we want. Um, the My favorite cocktail actually is a combination of Botox, skin boosters, fillers, and therapy, um, which I basically deliver to the skin. Um, so it gives the most incredible um, glow hydration. So it's absolutely perfect for whoever wants the most beautiful skin, flawless skin. Me. Before <laughs> an event. <laughs> so you literally look like your hair brushed okay. nicely, so yeah and I need that because I mean my skin has been such a shambles recently <laughs> so fingers crossed this will make it look a little bit yeah, more plump look. hey Maybe. so um, I'll film what I can during it perfect um, yeah, absolutely yeah and then I'll check in with you guys later and off. so, so this little device <laughs> we just cleansed my face and now I'm just yeah. gonna start to there you go that's oh, completely painless Does that feel okay yeah so it's like a tiny, tiny little like needle, right? Exactly. So the the needles are actually um, so fine; they're finer than the human hair. So very, very, very wow. small. Um, and so you don't even need any numbing. Uh, so we, we didn't apply any numbing cream, Nadia, at all. No, not at all. I mean, it literally just it. feels like like you're putting some kind of plastic on it. <laughs> I mean, it feels like what it looks like. To be honest, it's not so. Sometimes just around the eyes, and life is slightly more sensitive, but yeah, but nothing that requires any numbing. It's just gonna be treatment which was like what five minutes uh, yes <laughs> so quick super painless like, I couldn't feel anything I look a little bit red but like we had no numbing cream or anything and yeah so I'm gonna show you later on how my skin looks and, and then I'll keep checking in with you over the week but thank you <laughs> that was perfect okay I'm home <laughs> oh my god this lighting is horrible it's so dark outside literally why am I blue I was gonna show you my skin but like you're not gonna see it <laughs> in this light um let me get a ring light okay that's better i thought i can't really show you my skin at the window because the ring light's plugged in behind me but anyway i am back from london why is this not focusing um back from london that was such a nice procedure literally i said to dr nina i was like it felt so therapeutic even though there was like needles like when i think of needles i think of like actual filler needles it was like the most tiny minuscule she said that they are um finer than the human hair so like that's how small they were so literally you can't it wasn't it didn't feel like needles it just kind of felt like pressure um and it just felt like a nice little facial massagey thing so <laughs> yeah that was really nice my skin's got a really lovely glow to it at the minute still having a lot of problems down here which is so annoying but um i'm back on my super healthy eating and hopefully that will clear it up but yeah i've got a really lovely glow and i will check in again over the next few days and show you the updates um, I'm currently dealing with this mess that I need to tidy but I just got a parcel from one of my favorite brands ever which let me just pull you down a little bit which is um pretty lavish and if you haven't heard of them you should go check them out because literally their stuff is amazing and I have a feeling I know what's inside it but I need to check so I'm gonna open it with you so oh also 
also, before I, oh my god, it's soaking wet. Ah, oh, it's been sat outside. Before I get on with this, <laughs> I'm going to show you this fake tan disaster I had, okay? You ready? You ready for this? <laughs> I literally don't even know how that happened. Like, I didn't drop tan on the floor. I don't know. How, the only thing I can think of how it happened, I mean, literally, like, that is horrendous. <laughs> I was using, um... The tan lux like spray water the other night and I was sitting on the bathroom floor and I think I must have sprayed it like the sprays must have got on the floor and I didn't realize um I must have stood in it and then yeah that's my feet <laughs> but let me open this up and show you oh it's so cute Okay, so they have the most gorgeous, gorgeous clothes. Like every single season, they nail it. I don't know if you guys have been following me for that long, but I did um, a little collection with them about two years ago now. Was it two years ago? Or was it a year ago? It was a while ago, um, and I just love their stuff. It's so so nice. So they sent me watch out one of their teddy coats, which I'm so excited about. It's such a lovely surprise to come home to. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. It feels super luxurious. See, so now I always look for teddy coats to be stitched in the same way as the Max Mara coats, which look so amazing, but they're ridiculously expensive. And they have this gorgeous, like, thick stitching down the arms. So, yeah, it's got that as well, which I absolutely love. So, it's a great dupe for Max Mara. This feels super warm and super cozy. Absolutely love brown, like, this colour brown with, like, proper teddy bear with, like, black hoodies and, like, chunky leather and stuff. So, <gasps> look at this. Do you like it, Beanie? Can you see it? <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like Mama's new coat? Oh, you like it? Look how gorgeous this is. <gasps> I absolutely love this so much. Oh my God. Thank you if you girls are watching from Pretty Lavish. They're the nicest girls as well. You guys should really, really check out their website. But <gasps> I am obsessed. Oh my God, I'm literally shooting tomorrow. I'm gonna take this and shoot it, it's so cute. Oh, and it's so big and like not big but you know it's like the right amount of big it's oversized it's cozy like you'll definitely get a jumper underneath this oh my god I love it okay I'm gonna stick this in the description box um, and definitely have a little look at their website because they have the most amazing pieces but I'm excited another coat to add to the collection I'm gonna show you my collection there's two down here there's one on the sofa <laughs> and then I have all of these <laughs> all of these every time I come home with a new coat and one here oh my god you can see the mess of the house every time I come home with a new coat Johnny's like really he's like you have literally like 10 of the exact same thing on on the rail <laughs> but I'm like no they're all different anyway I'm going to tidy up this office and crack on with some admin this afternoon I mean what's the time I think it's already like it's quarter past three so I'm going to tidy for the next 20 minutes and then I'm going to sit down and do my emails and some admin because I need to get that sorted and yeah So it's now, what day is it? Uh, it's Wednesday. So I didn't really film anything today because it's been just a working day. I went and um, took a few pictures this morning and then came back and filmed a video. Wait, I have to put my arm down. This is, <laughs> this is heavy. Let me sit you here. Is that safe? You're balancing on a coffee cup, but let's roll with it, I think. A full coffee cup. Anyway, so yeah, this morning I, um, Shot some pictures, 
came back, filmed the Topshop haul, which should be up already before this is up. And now, um, an IKEA delivery just arrived, which I love flat pack. Like, I love building a flat pack, okay? So, I'm really excited <laughs> to start building it. Um, my chest of drawers, I'll show you actually. My chest of drawers over here are broken. This one drawer um, doesn't. There we go. Doesn't go back in. Like the bottom, the one above it, like the bottom's fallen through. So, and there's just too much stuff in them, and I have too much stuff. So I actually already had an IKEA. I've had IKEA drawers since like uni, and I love them. Um, but the ones I had when I moved in here broke. I think I built them wrong. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to invest in some good chest of drawers. I'm going to pay a little bit more money, and they'll last me. And they're shit. It's like literally they broke within like two weeks. So I've gone back to Ikea and I now have my trusty drawers. I think they're quite a bit bigger as well, which is really handy. I think they've got, oh, I don't know, they're definitely bigger than those ones. So I'm going to build them this afternoon. And yeah, that's my plan. Skin is looking so lovely. Obviously I have makeup on, um, but my spots have already calmed down so much. Like they're on the way out now. Like they've never actually come to anything. They've just disappeared again. Um, I just think my skin looks really nice and like plump. And just like awake and like healthy and refreshed and also it looks really like moisturized which I think I have really unmoisturized skin <laughs> unmoisturized skin I have very dry skin so yeah I'm really happy I'll show you either tonight or tomorrow with no makeup on and you can see how it's looking um, but yeah I'm really happy with that treatment and I will definitely be getting that again I'm gonna actually ask Dr Nina how long it's meant to last for and I will keep you posted but I'm gonna crack on with building some drawers <laughs> which is gonna take me all night because Johnny's electric screwdriver is literally in the back of the cupboard somewhere so I have to use a handheld screwdriver um, and every time I normally build flat pack I drink wine <laughs> so I drink my wine do my flat pack is probably why the last ones didn't get built properly but I'm on a drinking ban so I'm only drinking on weekends now um, to try and help my skin. So yeah, no wine for me. And I'm blabbering. I think that is all I have to say. Check in. <laughs> so I have three boxes to do to build to get this built. So I've already done box one. I'm about to finish box number one. But I mean, it's pretty big. If you can kind of see the difference. I mean, they're going to fit lengthwise. But all my pictures and stuff are going to have to be moved up. Because these are pretty... I mean... That's how big they are. <laughs> um, but they feel really heavy duty, especially compared to all the other. It's the same, I think it's called the Malm, Malm <laughs> ones from Ikea. And they feel super heavy duty compared to the other ones I've had. All the other ones I've had are a lot like smaller. I think they've got, mm, I think like the three drawer ones or just the four drawer ones. But these obviously have like four drawers and then two on top. So yeah, we're getting there. Um, I don't know if I said, but it's already been an hour. So I'm going to be another couple hours doing the rest of it. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd check in. My hands are literally raw. I don't know if you can see, but they're so red. <laughs> I'm going to have some blisters in the morning. But yeah, thought I'd check in, show you my progress, and I'm going to carry on. Done. <laughs> I've built the chest of drawers. Literally, what is the time? Quarter to six. Half past three, half past four. It took me like two and a half hours to do that. Um, but it's done. And now I need to... Let me show you. So now I need to empty ugh, these drawers, take everything out and put these ones there. And then I need to fill out, fill up, blah, blah, blah. I need to, <laughs> I need to fill up the new ones. So I'm going to do that now. Um, and then, yeah, literally this room is such a mess now, but I'm so glad these are done. They're so heavy. Um, Johnny's at squash. I have no one to help me, but you know, I'm an independent lady, good on me. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm gonna just get on with moving the other ones out now and try and get these ones in. But oh my God, they're actually so heavy. <laughs> in I mean they do not look that nice but whatever like <laughs> they're gonna have to do because I have so much clothes um it's really annoying because these prints um up here are now needing to be either lifted or taken away I think I'm gonna actually just take them down and then maybe do a mirror like a leaning mirror like a you know like the kind of like window mirrors I think I'm gonna do that there although I do have a mirror here on that side of the room so I'm not sure but yeah they are finally there now I need to fill them up this is all the clothes that came out of the little ones um and these pictures are not in centre now, which is really annoying. Are they? Hmm, maybe they are. No, they're not. Not. No, no they're not. 
Um, I might just leave the top one up though and take the bottom two off as well. I don't know, I'll let you guys know, I'll update you as we go. Um, but yeah, now I need to start putting these clothes into here and I'm also gonna try and get rid of as much as possible because I'm just, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> Okay, so before I tackle those drawers, I've decided to go to the shop and get myself a bottle of wine. Well, I'm going to have a few glasses, but a bottle of wine and some healthy dinner. Um, literally, I literally look like a hobo every time I go <laughs> anywhere in Winchester. <laughs> um, so many of you message me and they're like, oh, I saw you out in town. Da, da, da. And I'm like, oh my god, literally, this is how I look 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, I know a lot of you will love this jacket, so I'm going to link it below. Although it does give me like a serious pee head. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I need to tackle this. Um, but yeah, I was going to get Wagamama's, but I think I want to be healthy. Minus the wine. But I need the wine as a well done. be made Johnny helped me take the old ones downstairs um so now I just need to tidy up the rest of this room I have done my drawers so I have my underwear and socks and stuff in here um here is my tops then I have my loungewear and then I have all my jeans which I really need to go through and sort out because I just have a ridiculous let me show you yeah I have a ridiculous amount and I mean I literally wear like four of these but I need to try them all on and figure out what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of I also have a pile to sell in here and then, whoops, I have this big bag of stuff to go to eBloggers who are the company that I sell all my clothes on. But I just bought Bean a new toy and I really want to show you it because it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so it's this toy. This bit's like a suction cup and it like sucks to the floor and then this bit's like a tug of war ball. Good boy. So he has like this, oh, Beanie, he's distracted now. Get it, get it. Good boy. So he can play tug of war with this toy without one of us having to hold something. And he loves it. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> I will link this down below for any of you dog mums because it's super good. Took him a little while to get used to it. He kept trying to bite this part, but once I showed him how it worked, he loves it. So yeah, I will link that in the description box because I think it's such a good invention. But I'm gonna just continue tidying up this room and then get an early bed because I am going up to London pretty early, well, kind of early in the morning and I will take you there with me and yeah, I think that's all I have to say today. Okay, hello, good morning. <laughs> um, oh my god, I didn't get to bed till like half past, maybe even like 11 o'clock last night, which is so late for me. Um, so yeah, I finished up doing my chest of drawers and then I just did some I actually edited this vlog and then yeah, so now I'm going up to London today. Um, it's so cold literally like I mean I keep saying this but it's like absolutely freezing um, But I'm going up to see my lash lady. She's opened her new salon in Chelsea So I'm gonna go to um, see that salon and have a little it's like a little event going on I think um, And then I have my laser removal for my bikini and my underarms which has been a freaking nightmare to actually try and get it done because I kept having like tan in the areas but even though I scrubbed and had no tan but basically the tan goes much deeper than the surface and there was tan like still in my pores so that's my plan it's weird I had a bubble in my throat um, I'm gonna just show you my lashes because actually I'll talk to you in London I don't want to keep blabbering in the car okay I'm up in London I'm heading to the Fox and Vamp event um, I was going to show you my eyelashes now, but they've got no false lashes on and they are completely normal, like how they were before, which is why I keep going back to Fox and Vamp because every time they come off, they just look completely fine and like no damage at all. So yeah, I've got like a two minute walk or so and then I will take you there and show you it, but it's so and it's so awkward to walk past me. Um, I'll show you my lashes properly at home because I have really old mascara on at the minute and it's like drier than the Sahara Desert so <coughs> they look really short but they're actually not um so yeah I'll chat to you guys in a minute when I get to the event okay so it's super busy inside but it's so cute so this is where you walk in just grab my phone it's so pretty and then inside okay, so it's quietened down quite a bit so I'm going to show you it's so pretty this is little overviews obviously you get your hair done here um 
these are the extensions so I am now tempted to get them <laughs> I will keep you posted but I think I'm gonna get them done for thickness and um, I'll get some color done as well soon so yeah but they're just so nice oh I love them and then focus yeah so then obviously this is like where you get your hair done and then over here in this back room is a little lash room and yeah I think it's so so cute I'm literally obsessed I'm excited so I'll take you guys back next time I come here but um, when I, I'm gonna book, I'm gonna book in some appointments now but yeah it looks so good this is the owner <laughs> the owner of the queen so hi queen Talitha yeah. in the house <laughs> she does my lashes and she is literally amazing and we just fight about size yeah so, size. Size. <laughs> it's like, it's like I'm on <laughs> so yeah if you ever want your lashes done come here and we would love to see you hi guys so i'm just in the door from london i literally look like a greasy mess um but i went to therapy clinic after i last spoke to you after the event and had my let me tie my hair out i had my um laser hair removal process started so i got under arms and i also got um full hollywood and yeah i have been i think i explained earlier this morning i've been this is my third time going there trying to get it done because i still had tan on me which is really annoying but this time was fine so i got it done and um it was i mean i would say my underarms hurt a lot more than my below area but it didn't hurt at all like it just kind of felt like um like even if you're like cooking frying something and a bit of the fat like jumps out and hits you it felt like that but the laser machine is also blasting like ice cold air on the area so honestly like it was completely fine like, so the whole process lasted like i thought it was gonna take like an hour i don't know why i just thought it was gonna be quite like a slow process literally it took maybe i'd say like just under 10 minutes to do arms and bottom probably even less than that so yeah super quick procedure um and yeah i've got to go back in six weeks time which is actually boxing day so i'm gonna wait another week so i'm going back at the start of the um the next year jesus christ <laughs> so i'm going back on the 2nd of january and yeah i'm excited like now i've actually had it done i'm really excited to um like get the ball ro rolling. I've literally tried to film this like five times. I feel like my brain's not working. I need a coffee. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sign off here and then tomorrow I have my filler appointment, which I'm so excited about. Literally, I can't wait. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you with me to that. And yeah, then it'll probably be the end of the vlog. Good morning, guys. So it's now Friday. Um, I'm heading up to London in about two hours to go and get my filler done at Dr. Selena's which I might take you with, I might not, because as I said before, hold on, let me put you down. So yeah, as I said before, she uses um, dental block, which means my face goes like really numb and I look a bit funny for like, a couple hours. So I might bring you up and take you to the clinic and then I'll just chat to you either tomorrow morning or tonight and show you the um, finished results. But yeah, that's basically all that's happening today. I'm so annoyed. I don't know if I've shown, oh, I think I've shown this coat in this vlog. Let me show you. So this H&M, puffer which is now completely sold out apart from in two sizes i absolutely love it it costs 100 pounds so i mean it's not extortionate but it's definitely not like a cheaper jacket and i just spilt coffee all over it in my car and it's well i spilled it on both sides so this i've i've blow dried it okay so this side is kind of like it was all up here but the line's not there on this bit but down here there's that line and then on the front there's this big line as well and I don't know how to get rid of it and I'm actually really gutted. And then there's this like patch of, um, I'm just going to focus, yeah, there's like a little patch of like black or something. Also actually I just realised I didn't, mm, right, I didn't really tell you about what I am getting done filler wise. So <laughs> I'll tell you, if you don't like filler and you don't like this type of conversation, just click off the vlog now because it's not for you. But for those of you that do care, um, I am getting my, well, I want to get my cheeks done again. I want to get my jaw sharpened up because it's gone a little bit loose. So I just want to get a little bit in there and sharpen it up. Then because I get that done, I'll get a little bit in my chin, which kind of takes away this little like, you know, where you can kind of see this double chin. So it look more kind of like this, which is what I want. And then uh, my Botox has faded ever so slightly here. So I might get a little bit of Botox in. And then I'm definitely, definitely wanting to get my under eyes done because they've completely faded. Um, obviously, I have makeup on at the minute. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to get done. Um, I obviously trust Dr. Selena. So if she says no to something, then I won't get it done. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to ask her for. Also, I was meant to wait until January to have my lips redone. 
I'll get a little bit more in but I really want them done today because I'm gonna like stop talking and show you how quickly the top one fades so if you can see like here there's just like no volume on the top and I just think the top lip just looks really really tiny obviously not when I'm like speaking but when I am like kind of like when I'm like not speaking <laughs> it looks really small so I'm gonna see if she will do my um lips for me but if she says no and I've got to wait till January so that they stretch out properly then I'll just wait um outfit wise I'm just going super comfortable so I have this H&M jacket on which is a bit wrecked on the bottom there which I'm really gutted about but I'm going to wash it when I get back. I just want to be cosy and I want to be comfortable because it's obviously um, a train journey up and down from London and it's also not the most comfortable experience getting your filler done so yeah I just want to be cosy and comfortable and then let me just untuck this then I have this little Topshop thin knit on. I have these lounge leggings on which I absolutely love they're such good like they really like pull you in and suck you in and they're not see-through at all and they're actually quite cozy because they're quite thick then i have my yeezy trainers on and then i'm going to just take my ysl bag hi guys so um let me zoom you in a little bit so i already filmed all this and i filmed it the day after i have my filler done basically i didn't take it for my to my filler because i think i've said before when i get it done um, Dr. Selena uses dental block on me so I don't feel anything at all which is a godsend um, so you literally look crazy like you know when you get a tooth out and your face is all like Whoa, for like hours because you're so numb so I couldn't film really there couldn't film that night and then the next day me and Johnny went out and had a nice day out and did lots of stuff and then it got to like 5pm a bit earlier but it's like 4pm and I started to film this and I realised I looked like a sweaty mess I had a ring light on so it wasn't in natural light and also it was the day after my filler and filler takes like a couple of days to settle and I was just like it's not a good representation of how I'm going to look so I'm refilming it which is really annoying because I had like a little white company order and I was like going through it with you and showing you it but really editing it back it's just not good. So I'm here to talk about my filler. Um, I've done a little bit on Instagram and told you guys about it over there but I'm going to go into more depth here and then I'm going to just finish this vlog because I think it's actually quite long at the minute. <laughs> Disclaimer if you don't like filler don't watch, end the vlog now because the vlog's gonna finish after this. Um, I get it and I'm very open about it because I have had a bloody journey and a half with it, especially with my lips, they were so botched. And I just think if I had someone to go to back then and watch and listen and ask questions and get advice where advice can be given, then I probably wouldn't have made the mistakes that I did make. So, and I also, I don't care. I like filler. I like, I like the way I look with it. I enjoy getting it done. I don't do it for anyone else but me. So that's my disclaimer out of the way. If you want to hear about it, then keep listening. So what I had done, um, I have my lips done again, thank God, because I didn't think I'd get them done till January, but they're stretching out really nicely, um, I'm not rushing the process, I think it was the start of the year I got them dissolved, so it's been like almost a whole year of me refilling them, I currently have four mils in them, well I have had four mils put in, and then filler obviously fades, so I reckon there's about three and a half mil in my lips at the minute, most people only need like one or two mils, but I have tiny tiny lips like I didn't I don't really have any top lip naturally so I need a bit more to make them look um a little bit more plump so I got another meal put in my lips and I'm really happy let me just show you the shape yeah so I'm really really happy with the shape of them they look so natural and like I am finally feeling like my lips are back to the right size <laughs> so yeah that um, is what I got done on my lips. And then I got my jaw tightened up. So I think I got about a mil put in and it just makes that ever so slightly sharper. And um, I also got a little bit in my chin, which I, these are all things I normally do. So I got my chin topped up, which I think just helps hide like the double chin. <laughs> I don't have a double chin, but I do have definitely like a little pocket of fat here. And so when I have my chin and my jaw done, that pocket of fat doesn't really, you can't really see it, which I like. So I got that done. Um, I got my tear trust done, so I got underneath my eyes filled, um, very, very naturally, I don't think many people would know, but I mean, looking at me now, you can't really see, like, the hollow dip. So, yeah, it's the second time, I think, maybe third time I've had that done, and I really, really enjoy it, I do really, really notice the difference when it starts to fade, so I got that topped up. I, I've never had a problem with my nose, but I've always disliked the little I have like a little ball on the end of my nose, like this bit's kind of like a little ball and that was caused because I had a little crease in my nose here which was like making this look more prominent. So I asked Dr. Selena, is there anything we could do? If the answer was going to be no, I mean it wouldn't bother me, it was just a what if or can we? And she told me that yeah we can, we can put a tiny little bit of filler in your nose and it will just slim it 
and make this bowl less prominent. So we put a little bit of fido, I think, down the, like, what's it called? The bridge? No, like that bit of my nose. And it just ever so slightly slimmed it out. And then there was a little crease here on my nose, which we just filled. And that just kind of meant that the bowl wasn't, like, so prominent. It just was more, like, what's the word? Like, streamlined. Um, so, I mean, it's one of those things that I don't think any of you guys will notice and I my boyfriend didn't notice my mum didn't notice my sister didn't notice but I like I really notice it so I'm really happy with it um it's maybe not something I'm going to keep up forever but it is just something I wanted to try and I'm really happy and yeah so that is my filler chat um any questions you can pop me a question on dm or you can leave a question down below and i'll get back to you but yeah i go to skin doctor clinics and my doctor is dr selena i will pop all her information down below um that's what i get done i've been going to her for years i trust her so much and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed hearing about that so yeah i think that is all i have to say um i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm gonna try and vlog next week because johnny and i are going to italy to this like spa resort thing in the in the highlands <laughs> in the mountains which i think will be really fun so um, i might vlog that and then it's plumbing december like what's happening so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye